What is going on everybody? This is Soccer Junkie and today I am bringing you the latest scoop on Manchester United transfer news. Now, Manchester United are preparing a bid of around 24 million pounds for the Dutchman of Bayern Munich, Arjen Rob. This would be an absolutely fantastic move for Manchester United and Leuven Hall. Obviously, Arjen Robben played for Leuven Hall at the World Cup for the Netherlands, so he knows how to utilize this guy. And, uh, and right now, at the moment, Manchester United are desperately lacking for that speed and power of Arjen Robben because right now with Di Maria out there's no one really on the team who can offer the width and really the pace on the wings. Now obviously you know Leuvenhal and Arjen Robben have a relationship going and they going back to their days at Bayern Munich together so for me this seems like a but you know, somewhat of a realistic move because you know, once again, Luvan Hal and Arjen Robben know each other very well, and Luvan Hal knows how to utilize Arjen Robben. And now, does this move really suit Arjen Robben? At the moment, you kind of have to say no because you know he's playing for Bayern Munich, he's playing in the Champions League, he's at the top of his game, and Bayern Munich currently are on top of their league. I mean they're just gonna win another title, let's face it, and they could potentially win Champions League. So why would he leave in January? for a club that does not have Champions League football. This move will certainly be influenced by Bayern Munich's transfer policy this January. If somehow they're able to secure the rights of, let's say, Marco Royce, then so if Bayern Munich can get Marco Royce on their team, obviously this can mean that Arjen Robben can go on and play for another team and potentially, most likely, I'd say 90% sure, they will sell Arjen Robben and that point. Obviously, this would be a fantastic signing for Manchester United and I hope Manchester United will at least try to get him this January. Also, Manchester United appear to be in the pole position to land Enzo Perez from Benfica, the Argentine midfielder who has been linked with Valencia and Manchester United, but apparently Valencia has been outpriced by the price tag coming in from Benfica. Apparently, he's going to cost us 26, 27 million pounds and you know that's a hefty sum for a player who is 28 years of age but he is a very good player although I haven't seen too many games of him to be honest. He could be a really good signing for Manchester United you know he's kind of an alternative option to Kevin Strutman but at the same time you know obviously Strutman is coming back from that injury and Lou Van Hal knows Kevin Strutman so you would, you would think that it would be better if he signed Strutman instead of Enzo Perez, but at the same time, you gotta ask yourself, Kevin Strutman is coming back from an injury and it's gonna take him a while before he can really get back to his playing level that he did before he got injured. So Enzo Perez, perhaps, at the moment, is a better signing, but to be honest, Manchester United should really not rush and really think through their options here. Is it gonna be Enzo Perez or Kevin Strutman? You know what? Let me know in the comments below who would you want Manchester United to sign, Perez or Strutman. Now also, Manchester United are interested in purchasing Nathaniel Klein, a right back from Southampton in the January transfer window. He would be a great addition to the team, I feel like, you know, obviously we are really suffering for right backs at the moment. Rafael is injured and let's face it, Antonio Valencia is not a right back and Nathaniel Klein obviously would slot in very well on the team probably will play immediately. Now he's also somewhat inexperienced, he's a young lad but he's got a ton of potential and honestly this would be a very good signing for Leuvenhal and Manchester United if they can pull it off but I'm sure Southampton do, would not want to lose yet another key player to their team. So the, move, the likelihood of this move happening are you know somewhat slim but who knows maybe it will go through. Now let me know in the comments below Manchester United fans would you want to see Klein on this team? Personally I would. Now moving on to the old saga Diego Godin to Manchester United. The rumors have been flying all summer long all throughout the past few months and whatnot and when I first thought about this move I was like eh, do we really want to pay this much for a defensive player or center back. Obviously, after watching a few Manchester United games, I feel like we desperately need someone of Diego Godin's stature to really bring that leadership at the back, be the man, the rock that we had in Vidic, and perhaps this could be Godin's role. Hopefully, Manchester United were able to secure the deal, but honestly, it seems very unlikely at the moment that Manchester United will be able to get him in this, in January maybe just maybe they can pull it off in the summer but Diego Odin loves to play for Atletico Madrid you know he's he's the leader he's the man 
for his club so and Atletico Madrid would not rush to sell him so the likelihood of this move happening in this January transfer window is very slim and last but not least it seems like Victor Valdez wants to join Manchester United on a permanent basis. A few reports have been coming in from UK suggesting that Victor Valdez is really keen on joining Manchester United on a permanent deal, on a permanent basis. Although, to me, it doesn't seem like a good move for Victor Valdez because even if Manchester United does sign him on a permanent deal, he would not be a starter by any means necessary. He would only be a second choice to David De Gea, who has been absolutely fantastic this season. In my opinion, David De Gea is the player of the season so far. And I would not be surprised if he ends up being the player of the season. So does this move really suit Manchester United and Victor Valdez? Let me know in the comments below because in my opinion, it really doesn't. You know, obviously he'll be great number two goalkeeper. All right, guys, this has been my scoop on the latest Manchester United transfer news. Let me know in the comments below who you want to see Manchester United sign this January transfer window. Like this video, share with your mates. As always, guys, thank you for watching and peace.